AJ, how are you doing? Very good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm sorry about that, a few technical issues. I'm not very technical no myself. Worries. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem about that. Good stuff. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Uh, pretty good. Uh, as usual, just trying to keep myself you know, busy with some training. Uh, yeah. That is it for now. Good, good, good stuff, good stuff. Well, listen, firstly, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to speak to us today. Um, I know a lot of people are excited um, about this story, mainly because we don't often get to speak to players who played for India recently in a World Cup, right? So uh, for us, um, you know, we appreciate your time. And, you know, we want to we have a conversation with you, very different to how you would normally have a conversation from a fan perspective. Right, so um, uh, we're going to use this as an opportunity for fans, for Bharat Army members, to get a real insight um, to what it is and what it means to to represent Team India at a World Cup. Because not many Indian cricketers have done that, right? So you're one of the very few that actually has put on the jersey and represented your country in a World Cup. And you can see that I have your jersey that you yeah. gave us <laughs> at the World Cup yeah. there, uh, right behind me. So for those people that are watching, uh, Vijay gave us two two jerseys of his um, when he uh, left to come back to India, um, you know, from the World Cup, which we are always very grateful for, so very much appreciate. And I'm actually wearing one of the orange ones. Um, and so for our listeners, I've got a question for you. I'm wearing another player's jersey uh, from the World Cup. Can you guess who's, whose jersey that I'm wearing? It's another player that played in the World Cup. Um, but anyway, Vijay, right? So um, I'm going to structure this conversation in a few sections. I want to break this down, yeah. right? So um, I'm going to start off with um, pre-World Cup, yeah? Um, and sort of um, your build-up to actually getting selected and how you were feeling during that period of time. And you remember we sat down and we had a coffee in Chandigarh, I think it was, wasn't it? And with the Australia yeah. series was on. And we were having yeah. a conversation about whether you would get selected and, um, you know, how yeah, that you'd was be a, feeling. That was, the first time, that was the first time I met you guys there. Like, uh, I've seen you guys on TV and all, but that was the first time I had an interaction with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it was great to sit down with you and have a chat with you then. And at that time, you didn't know whether you were going to be selected or not, right? So I want to talk to you a little yeah. bit about that. Um, then I want to talk to you about, um, you know, the emotion of actually getting selected to play for India at World Cup you know, uh, what that felt like for you. Um, then I'm going to talk about the World Cup itself. Um, and then we're going yeah. to talk about today, where we are today and what your plans are going forward. Uh, not just for India, but for the IPL as well, because there's a lot of Sunrisers guys that will be clicking <laughs> and watching on this. Um, yeah. But then obviously, um, I have a, a final quick fire round, right? So I'm going to ask you some fun questions at the end as well. Is that cool? Perfect. Good, good. All right, so let's start off with um, sort of pre-World Cup, right? So I'm going to take you back to the New Zealand series, yeah, um, when you were in New Zealand. Um, and I think when I was watching and many Indian fans were watching you, that's when we saw the emergence of somebody who potentially could fill a role or to fill a void for, for us in our World Cup squad. Yeah. Um, and Vijay, at that time, did you have a World Cup, um, you know, squad selection in your mind? Or was it just a case of, being in that moment and trying to do the best you can in that match or in that series? Uh, well, uh, after, after I got my uh, one-day cap, I never thought about, uh, you know, the World Cup or even the, the, uh, the next game or whatever. I did. All I want to do is just enjoy that particular moment uh, because uh, to represent the country is something uh, everyone uh, would dream of. And uh, I was very fortunate to get the... Uh, T20 and the one-day cap as well. So, uh, when I went into the ground, all I was looking forward was to, you know, uh, enjoy each and every moment. So, I think I was just enjoying myself. I think I was, uh, it was, uh, you know, when I made my one-day debut in uh, Melbourne, it was it was unbelievable. And then uh, it took, I, I think, uh, after three or four innings, only I batted, you know, I got to bat my first innings in, uh, in one-day international. So, yeah. Uh, I was actually, I was literally waiting, uh, you know, to bat. I was waiting for uh, for an opportunity to bat. But uh, uh, when I uh, when I was part of uh, the team in New Zealand, uh, it was a big challenge for me. I, I had to, you know, uh, 
do really well and uh, the first game when i batted it was a situation where we were 18 for 4 when i walked in uh the previous game we got all out for 90 uh, so the next very next game we were 18 for 4 and i was actually i was supposed to bat at number uh, i think number 8 if mm-hmm. things are you know gone uh, perfectly for us uh, we had uh, uh, my by batting at number 5 uh, we had kedar jadav we had hardik pandya i think i was supposed to bat at number 8 or whatever but then since we lost wicket uh, uh, regularly they suddenly asked me to pair up and then uh, it was an opportunity for me to bat and i got 40 odd runs so yeah. i think yeah. i was enjoying each and everything yeah yeah i'm one i'm wondering a lot of us had conversations in our whatsapp group that were you the player that we were missing in the semi final <laughs> in new zealand <laughs> So <laughs> could have you have played a similar role if you were available in the New Zealand uh, semi final? Uh you know actually uh, uh, I have played few innings for my state as well and then you know to get an opportunity to bat in such a situation uh, for India uh, was something uh, you know and also for India A I think uh, before getting picked for the Indian team I played few games for India A also in New Zealand and I had a good good uh, series there so Yeah. Uh you know it is it is just about uh enjoying that moment. I think uh you don't often get uh, such situation when you you know play for a country like India. Yeah. Uh, very rarely you get that and then it, I just see see that as an opportunity. So maybe yeah. if I had got I don't know I would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Um and you know um when you're actually playing for India to give a fan a real feeling of the pressure you feel, right? Um are you thinking about this might be the last time or that i get a chance or what does that pressure feel like because i don't think as fans we really appreciate the the kind of emotions that you go through or is it a case of being just very tunnel vision very focused how how do you feel when you're playing when no, you first start uh, with your career when i first started definitely that was a the biggest experience that i had because uh, you know uh, i was feeling the nerves when i walked in so things were very you know little different but then i started uh, enjoying that i just told myself uh, every time i walked in i was just telling myself what if this was if this is the last game for me so i just have to enjoy myself i just have to uh, all i know is to just give my 100% whenever i walk in so i just i just thought i should keep doing that every day every time i step onto the field yeah, so that right. will be my only thinking uh, even when i go back and play for my state or the league team that i play here i think that has uh, given me a lot of uh, satisfaction Great, great, great. All right, so we're going to move on to pre-World Cup now, really briefly now, right? So, at what point did you start to think yourself that you know what I have a chance of making the squad? Did it was it sort of some of the conversations you were having in and around the team, or did you feel at any point that you know what I'm I'm in a position now where I might be selected? Uh, no, I never thought about uh, any such thing because. Uh... uh you know when i started playing for my state you know that was one thing which was actually affecting me in a way so every time i think about that uh, i was not able to uh, play my uh, natural game so that yeah. was affecting me in a way so yeah. every time i just every time i play i just wanted to just uh, give my best for the team so when i come out of the come out of the ground i should be literally exhausted uh, you know i should i should have given my 100% for the team Yeah, uh, yeah. So that that was the only thinking that I had, and when World Cup, uh, you know, when people are talking about World Cup and the selection and everything, yeah. Till the day they announced the team, I never thought about it. I don't know uh, how I did that, but then uh, even on the day when they announced the team, I remember myself and Rashid Khan. You know, we went we went to a corporation ground near the uh, near our hotel to play tennis ball cricket with the kids. Uh, yeah. So. I wasn't thinking much about it but it was a great feeling you know when I uh, got the call. Yeah. And how does that happen? How do you um I can as a fan I can't imagine you know <laughs> you getting a call one day from someone saying oh hey Vijay you know what you know great news you're going to represent India in the world. I, I think I would be in bits if someone said that to me, right? How did you feel? Well, What was the emotion I, when you get told? No, uh, I I felt really happy uh, you know uh, when I got the call but till that time I didn't even think much about it because uh, I, i can easily say you know the experience that i had from uh, nidas trophy people you know talk a lot of uh, negative things about that uh, but you know i have always taken that in a positive uh, way uh, you know I, that has actually 
uh, the, that game taught me a lot of things not just uh, playing cricket you know everyone knows how to hit a ball or whatever but then uh sometimes you know those things happen and then uh, you know uh, i learned how to react to things i learned how to you know uh, carry myself uh, it's 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 you know something uh, uh, which gave me uh, a learning of being calm like yes yeah. uh, you just you don't have to worry about other things you know if you keep doing your work things will yeah. automatically fall in place yeah and so great... i started believing in that yeah and it's a great example right because of what you experienced um yeah. you know it, mentally you become stronger as a result of that right definitely um, yeah. and, and obviously you get your due right and you get selected for the world cup um uh, who were the who was the first person you told or did everybody know at the same time did you tell anyone your everybody father everybody got uh, yeah yeah my uh, my dad my brother called me first and then i spoke to my parents yeah. so my family my close friends and you know after that i slowly started getting a lot of calls yeah uh but then uh, after speaking to my parents and my uh, Sorry, go on. Carry on. Yeah. Uh, so uh, after speaking to my coach, I just uh, went to that uh, uh, tennis ball game with the kids. So I did. I didn't take my phone for a while. So after I got back to the room, <laughs> I just I was checking all the calls and uh, the messages. Yeah. Yeah. And did you have a moment where you had to just sit and think, "I'm actually going to a World Cup. Um, I'm a member of the <laughs> squad." Did you have that kind of yeah. surreal moment? Yes, it was actually uh, a great feeling to be part of uh, a World Cup team, and then uh, uh, I think I had that for a while. But immediately, I think the next day or the day after that, uh, we had a match. So yeah. I was, you know, I always wanted to uh, just focus on uh, the match. Like I just wanted to give yeah. my best. I just want to somehow contribute uh, something towards, you know. Uh, uh my team's victory so that has always been my thinking no matter what uh, yeah. so i think that's yeah. the only constant thing that every individual can have yeah yeah and we, um, we, so let's come to the world cup itself now right so um when we talk about the world cup itself do you do you feel you had a very clearly defined role in the team so did you know this is my role this is what i'm here to do or um you know you there was a lot of talk about a 3d cricketer and you being a three dimensional <laughs> cricketer etc right um so was it kind of a very fluid type of position you had in the squad or would you did you have a very defined role in the squad no uh, i for the fact you know like i i know uh, what my role was uh, it's it's you know if if there was any early wicket i know i had to bat up the order uh, if not i know i have to be flexible enough to bat at number 6 or 7 whatever so yeah. i i knew that very uh, clear, uh, clearly but uh, you know uh, i should actually Uh, give credit to my uh, my state association as well for that because every time I go, I you know uh, went on to play for my state I've always I've always done that like I've always been uh, uh, flexible uh, to bat at different position every time yeah. that has happened me happened in my uh, state uh, uh, team with the state team as well uh, yeah. every time uh, early wicket falls I'll have to go up and bat if if there's a good partnership I'll have to bat at number six so. uh i think it, i just took that i never uh, you know cribbed about uh, those things uh, because as a batsman uh, you know it's very important uh, uh, to get a run uh, yeah. to get you know if you start playing in one particular order you might uh, score a lot of runs or you might get comfortable with that but then this was a situation which i had uh, uh, you know which i faced uh, in my domestic uh, with my domestic team as well so yeah i just i i never cribbed about those things you know batting up and down and everything but then yeah i just uh, saw that as an opportunity for me to adapt uh, yeah. which is a very important thing uh, especially when you're playing uh, uh, t20 or one day uh, format it's very important for us to be really flexible yeah. uh, and, and i'm not sure and i was not... very sorry yeah No, and I was very fortunate. You know, I I had that in the India A as well uh, because every time uh, you know when we lose early wickets, uh, all right, uh, you know, uh, he's my idol. So to share, you know, uh, I used to talk a lot uh, to him about how he adapts uh, to different situations and different uh, conditions. Uh, so I just took that as uh, learning, and then 
I was able to do well in New Zealand because of that. So suddenly yeah. he uh, he told me I'm going to bat at number five uh, in all the one days. I bat at number five. I got uh, runs consistently there. So I think it was just an uh, experience that I took from each and every outing that I had. Yeah, and I remember like uh, we saw you in New Zealand. You played a couple of good innings where you came in and settled the the innings for for India. Um, and then I remember. Uh, the first time where I saw you play um, a big innings, uh, when I say big innings, I don't mean in terms of number of runs, but I thought this guy can make a difference to our World Cup squad was in actually in Mahali itself. And you came in for a very few balls and you yeah. whacked two humongous sixes. They were massive. Six- One went over our head in the pavilion area. <laughs> and I thought to my guy, this guy, he can do some damage in the World Cup. And, and um, I'm not sure whether we actually got an opportunity to see that from you in the World Cup, you know, um, I know you only played three three matches, but you know I think there was a a, um, a player in Vijay Shankar that we haven't actually seen yet, yeah, um, <laughs> which hopefully we will get to see um, because yeah. I think there's a big game in you and a different game in you when it's required as well. So that's why yes, I said earlier on, go on. Sorry. Yeah, and also I had a pretty good uh, T20 in uh, New Zealand. Uh, yeah. The three innings that I batted, the last inning that I batted, I got 40 odd runs. But the yeah. only difference was, you know, if I had got those 40s into a you know, biggest, but twice I got uh, run out on 40s, like 45 yeah. and 46. I got both were like, I, I felt I was at my best, both the innings. Yeah. The one inning was my debut, or like uh, my debut innings, where we were 18 for four, and then I had a partnership. And then the next one was in Nagpur, yeah. where I had, uh, uh, you know, a partnership with uh, Virat and, you know, he hit straight back and I got run out. So, yeah. so those two innings, if I had, you know, made it to even 50s or 70s or whatever, things would have been really uh, different. Uh, you know, people would have seen me differently and yeah. things would have been really different for me. But uh, no regrets on that. I think uh, those two innings, I, even even today, uh, I keep watching that. I enjoy watching those innings uh, because I, I think it, the one uh, I played in New Zealand was a tough condition uh, yeah. where it was the ball was doing a bit and I was able to you know counter that and uh, I was playing very comfortably. Uh, so I think I feel really happy about those things that I've, you know, whatever uh, I did in the short time that I was with the team till now. Great, great. All right. So let's go back to the World Cup then, right? So first two matches um, against Australia and South Africa, uh, you were not selected for those. But then... What a match to get selected for, right? Um, <laughs> so I just want to touch on that match because that's the match today that we have replayed uh, on our yeah. socials. Um, and look, everybody knows, right, that a World Cup is not a World Cup without an India versus Pakistan match, right? So um, yeah. I guess my first question for you is at what point did you know that you were going to play? Uh, when, when, when did you get a tap on the shoulder say, Vijay, Vijay get yourself ready, um, you're going to be <laughs> playing? <laughs> I think uh, one day before the game, Okay. So one day before the game, they just told me, just be prepared. Uh, you'll be play, uh, playing. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and then it was, uh, you were there in uh, Manchester. So you, I'm sure you would have, exp- you know, seen all that. Like, you know, the it was literally crowded. It was packed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Manchester was packed. So yeah. to see those things, to get into a coffee shop and uh, to have an experience. Yeah where a Pakistani fan came up to us and he was literally abusing us. Uh, like, uh, you know, a few players, we had gone out for coffee and they were like abusing us. So that was my first experience of India-Pakistan game. Wow. Uh, wow. One day before the game. Yeah, yeah. And then, I I, do, you block, do you try and block that out? Um, that kind of experience you have? Or, do you, or is, it, is it you have to take it as it is? No, we just have to take it. We just have to see, you know, he was literally uh, recording... He was literally abusing and he was recording everything. So we wow. couldn't react. We just wow. all we can do was just you know to sit and watch what what he's doing. That's it. And it was a great. It was a good experience. You know, uh, it was the first time. You know, we were playing. Uh, I I was you know part of a uh, uh, team where we are, we are going to play Pakistan. So yeah. I think it is it is uh, yeah. great feel. Yeah. And are you aware of everything that's going around? I mean, I don't know if you're aware, but people were arriving into Manchester for two, three days before the match. You know, thousands and thousands of people are coming into the city. Are you aware of everything that's going on around you? Uh, or do you try and stay yeah. in a bubble? Yeah. No, 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 no. I was aware of everything. I was like, okay. so it's very hard, hard for me to know, uh, 
sit in the room and uh, do nothing like you know i i, I, I want to go out for a coffee i want to just go out so i had dinner yeah. started with me so uh, you know two players we used to go out for coffee and also you know we used to have some uh, fun you know which is very important i feel at that of time course. because yeah. the pressure is you know uh, the you know the pressure is like literally very very high so yeah you yeah. just have to give uh, ourselves some time to ease yeah. out and have some coffee chill yeah and so um i want to take you to the match day itself um and you're uh, leaving the hotel was there a big crowd at the hotel when you left outside <laughs> massive crowd massive <laughs> what is that the moment where you start to get butterflies or not at that point Yeah, we generally get butterflies at that point like you know when we board the bus we see what is happening what you know the people we know like you know as uh, as team india the the support from the team will be like for the team will be like uh, unbelievable and uh, especially in india pakistan game it was uh, yeah. it's when really, it was so much yeah and um, uh, when when you actually are in this in the dressing room and you're putting on your team in their jersey right uh, and then you're walking out um for that national anthem T- tell indian cricket fans uh, what does it feel like to sing your national anthem um at an india versus pakistan match at a world cup what what was that emotion like for you oh it was actually uh, it was unreal uh it was like you know standing in uh, uh standing for the national anthem and the whole crowd singing our uh, national anthem was something uh, you know even today when i was watching i was watching that game again uh, so i was getting goosebumps you know to watch that to again feel that you know uh, to stand in the to stand on the ground and feel that moment was something uh, i i actually I, i was telling after the national anthem when i got back into the dressing room i was telling uh, the support staff that you know i was getting goosebumps standing there so yeah. it was unbelievable Great, great. Are you a singer? Do you sing the national anthem, or or do you not sing? Because some players sing, some players don't sing. No, no, I do sing. Like, you know, it it automatically it will it will come up. Like when you when the whole stadium is uh, singing, I'm sure it will. You know, you will also sing together. Yeah, um, it was an amazing moment. I mean, there was probably around twenty five thousand uh, fans in the stadium. Yeah, probably twenty thousand Indians. Right. Um, Yeah. which <laughs> easily <laughs> easily right which 20 years ago when we played pakistan in 1999 it was the opposite um it was actually uh, the opposite there was more pakistan fans than indian fans so so 20 years later yeah, i we, remember i think yeah. i think you told me that uh, experience of you know uh yeah. getting beaten by someone <laughs> yeah in the stand yeah, and I mean, everything 20 years ago it was during the kargil war right so there was a lot of tension um 20 years ago um and we were completely outnumbered in the stands and it was um that's when the bharat army first started and it was because of that experience the bharat army started actually um but obviously it was very different uh, this time round um so let's go back to the match then right um so it was quite an odd situation for you right i mean the the batting you know you had 15 balls you scored 15 runs i think it was right um so there wasn't yeah. much left for you to do really apart from um get as many as you can as quick as you can but then when the bowling um happened uh Bobby got injured right and then at what yeah. point did you did you put your hand up and say I'll finish the over or was the ball thrown to you <laughs> how did that happen because you weren't the obvious candidate right to finish that over off uh so no, I was just standing at point and uh, I was watching Bobby walking off uh actually Hardik was supposed to bowl that over so he came uh, to you know give us cap and then suddenly last moment they said okay you come on to bowl we just have two more balls in the over so yeah. Yeah. i came on i just bowled got a wicket and it was you know you know it's always good to get a wicket of a very first ball and being a world cup uh, debut against pakistan i think uh it's not asked for anything better than that no no and it was um in zaman right his wicket you got is that correct imam 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 imam, imam, imam sorry imam yeah. yeah and then you got a second wicket as well right uh, of the yeah. captain um yeah. and you actually bowled a pretty good spell if i remember correctly was um i didn't think you you bowled five overs was that correct um, yeah i bowled 5.5.2 uh yeah. 2 for 22 that's right that's right yeah um and so you made a contribution right uh um in that match itself how did you feel after when we won is it is do you in a world cup scenario where you beat pakistan is it just another game 
like people say, oh. or like some of the players say, or or is that just what they say for the cameras? Uh, actually, uh, till we play the game, it was uh, it was a high intense game. Uh, till the match got over, uh, because we had uh, interruption. Uh, you know, it yeah. was raining a bit, uh, so we went in, we came back, and then. Uh, till the time we won the game you know it was really really high intense uh, game so yeah. once the game got over uh, we were then like okay we won the game and then we have to because because it's a world cup and you have lot of games coming up you need to focus on the next game so till the uh, till the game uh, uh, till we won the game uh, it was really really high intense after that it was yeah. just normal yeah. yeah but the best part of the game for me was uh, when i was batting uh, when i when i went in like uh, i think uh, before it rained uh, the last ball i was given out so i didn't even uh, uh, ask virat i just i knew it didn't hit my bat so i just yeah. took a review directly yeah. and then i was like little i was little uh, uh, nervous because if if that you know if that had hit my bat then we would have lost the uh, uh, review and yeah. uh, things would have you know gone really bad <laughs> so uh, i reviewed and then it immediately it rained off so we yeah. had to walk in so yeah. when we were walking back like i was like walking at the big screen and and then it was like okay not out so i just yeah. have to come back and bat yeah 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 um and when you think about your contribution in that match itself obviously we won in the end we won quite easily um how did you feel about your personal contribution did you feel you did your job um Yeah, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy because uh, I was, you know, I got two wickets, I got a catch, I got fifteen not out of fifteen balls. So I was yeah. pretty happy with uh, the contribution. All, all, you know, as a player, all you need is, yes, uh, you know, to uh, get uh, get to your landmark of getting fifties or hundreds. All, all that yeah. thing is there. But then, uh, you know, whatever opportunity you get, it is very important to contribute yeah. uh, to the team's victory. so yeah. i was very happy and satisfied by end of the uh, game yeah and i just want to ask you one question from a player perspective um to us the fans right um so obviously there's a lot of hype around the match particularly like an india pakistan match right where the players um, obviously are mentally preparing themselves for the match but the fans are also mentally <laughs> preparing themselves for the match the fans are also going through an emotional roller coaster right what is going to happen is this the first time we're going to yeah. lose to pakistan in a world cup you know i just paid so much money for a ticket we cannot lose all these different emotions you know that the fans go through um i are, are you guys um do you block out the fans you know when you're playing the actual match or are you aware of the atmosphere the tension the emotion you know i mean for me personally speaking and i know i know a lot of other bharat army guys um we really struggle to enjoy an india pakistan match yeah <laughs> um because of the tension i mean we enjoy it after if we win but in the match itself it's very difficult to enjoy right because there's so much tension so are you aware of that yeah. tension are you aware of what it means for a yeah. fan yeah 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 with with uh, all the social media and everything you know you will yeah. get to know each and everything that is happening around and uh, i remember you know we had a discussion saying okay uh, one day before the game let's not get much into social media let's just stay a little away from it because you get you get to see lot of things happening on social media you want to you know as as uh, players and as uh, fans you very badly want to win the game against pakistan so things like that you know uh, as you said uh, uh, we have that hype when, especially when we play against pakistan so yeah, yeah. it is it is very important for us to just uh, uh, play the game with good intensity and uh, yeah. just uh, enjoy that moment that's it because when we start thinking about uh, other things it might actually affect our game yeah yeah no you're true true so listen anyway one quick point on behalf of all of the indian cricket fans you know thank you for your part um in helping us beat pakistan for a seventh time in a world cup you can say that you are you played your yeah. part in history now yeah um and look this time around we smashed them right i don't think they even had to came into the game itself so um so i'm going to move on right to the rest of the world cup um you played two more matches for india until you got injured um you know when you played the match against um afghanistan and west indies did you feel then then you had your identity in that squad um did you feel that you think okay this is my position or was it always a case of like i'll fit in where i need to fit in if that makes sense 
No, I I always keep myself open that way because I will prepare like especially when you are playing in England. Uh, it is very important for us to prepare uh, to bat up the order. Uh, yeah. Because you know we know as uh, as a as a batsman or as a cricketer, it will do something. Uh, yeah. The ball will keep doing something. So as a batsman, I look to uh, prepare myself to bat at number four. And yeah. if at all I have to bat at number six, I can adapt to it uh, quickly. But if yeah. I just focus on practicing you know uh, for number 6 or to just go in and keep hitting and all such things the number 4 slot will actually become uh, really uh, difficult if i walk in at that situation yeah yeah so so it is very important for uh, me to keep things open and uh, again uh, against afghanistan uh, i think we were 60 for 2 uh, 3 i think uh, for 2 so when i walked in uh, uh i had a 60 run partnership with uh, virat like yeah. uh we we ran really well we were like getting ones and twos and uh, you know when i got out i felt really bad because i could have uh, you know i had uh, if you see in my one day uh, career i had like three innings where i could have made it big yeah. you know uh, two innings i got uh, run out on 40s uh, so i couldn't have done much uh, in that If you yeah. see in the rest of the games, uh, in, I think eight innings or nine innings that I batted, three innings I had that opportunity to score. Uh, if I had got those runs, it would have helped me in a way. Otherwise, yeah. uh, I know, you know, it is with the team with uh, when you are with the uh, Indian team, it is always uh, difficult. You need to keep pushing yourself. You need to keep performing at the uh, uh, best. So, yeah. uh, I don't know. As I said earlier. Uh, This is how I think when I go back and play for Tamil Nadu as well. I need to be open uh, yeah. because that's how I, I feel. That is how uh, I've got better. That is how I've adapted myself uh, to different situations quickly. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Um, so uh, let's come to the point where obviously you got your injury, right? Um, and how does that feel, right? Because you're in the middle of a World Cup, and um, it must have been heartbreaking. I know we spoke about it when we had dinner yeah. in Birmingham, right? but tell the fans you know what it meant to you to have to leave you know that kind of environment first of all right because you're in the middle of a world cup you know and it's a great environment to be in as well right in and around yeah. the world cup whether you're playing in the first 11 or not just to be part of the squad um so so you get injured how did that feel what was the emotion i know when i was meet when we had dinner with you i could tell emotionally that hurt you a lot right so yeah um tell tell everybody else how it felt for you to have to leave so uh... the environment so initially when i got uh, uh hit on my uh toe uh, i thought i'll be able to manage i'll be like i thought it won't is not going to affect uh, me much so i played uh, two games after that and then i was fine i was running around properly and everything but against uh, during the game against uh, west indies uh, where i tried to dive and stop a ball uh, i remember my foot getting hit on the ground so that's when it flared up so i knew something was not right inside so whenever i walked i was getting that pain so i went in i i, I told my physio like i'm not feeling comfortable with the toe so we then exed uh, took a x ray and then uh, he said there's a fracture on your uh, big toe and which is you know big toe is something really important for everyone even when you walk you put a lot of uh, effort on that mm. so when i when i got to know that it was uh, very very uh, difficult for me to take it uh, because uh, i was asking my physio whether is there any chance where i can uh, take a injection or do something else uh, you know like a painkiller to uh, play because i wanted to be part of a team and i wanted to play this game badly yeah so he said uh, if it was you know some other part you can you could have uh, managed but this so you cannot do anything and this in a very tricky place where every time you put effort it's going to affect you and it's going to hurt you <clears throat> so i was like okay i cannot do much about it but uh, the time i left that place it was uh, it was very very uh, difficult for me to leave uh, because i remember the day i left it was, uh, india had a game against bangladesh and it was yeah, i yeah. think a very close game it was a very very close game so i was watching it and I was feeling sad in a way, I know uh, I was feeling sad that I'm going to leave and uh, go back and sit at home for a month without doing anything and all such things but yeah. as a cricketer you know uh, I cannot do anything all you all you can do is just uh, accept that and uh, 
try and get better uh, come back stronger that is the only thing you can do of course and and um obviously at the time when you left india were playing well right um we hadn't lost the game we only had that rained out um match against new zealand um we had england to come as well um so was it a difficult flight home back back to india um oh very difficult flight yeah <laughs> i was i was finding it uh you know one thing one good thing was i landed in chennai in the, uh, you know at around 2 uh, or 3 o'clock in the uh, like early morning so i was like just came straight to to my house and i was like okay i'm not going out for a few days <laughs> fair enough fair enough all right good so um i have uh, before we move forward right from the world cup i have one question for you right um and we did one topic um i wish there's one thing that i could wish for is i wish that some of the indian cricket players could join um us on our bharat army forums um because we discuss cricket indian cricket uh, to the lengths that you wouldn't believe right and sometimes i mean we have 12 months now since india got knocked out in the semi final and every week we discuss that semi final um because it's very difficult for us to understand yeah. how we didn't win that semi final right um so i guess i have a question for you from a fan so if you imagine yourself as a fan yeah where do you think as a fan we went wrong in that semi final or was it a case of new zealand were just a better team on the day i uh, if you ask me like as a fan or as a cricketer like if the match had happened on the same day things would have been uh, different it is always like you know uh, when you have that break and when you come back things are like really different especially in a one day game where we didn't have experienced that before uh, mm. uh in a test match it's totally different you know you're going to come back and you got to you know grind and you need to fight it out and everything but in one day yeah. you didn't have experienced that so yeah. my feel was if we had played the game on the same day yeah things would have been uh, different yeah and it was two and different you know, two different matches wasn't it like the first day yeah, yeah, we was, were we won three in the second yeah yeah, yeah. And the so, conditions changed, right? There was a lot more overcast on the second day as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So there are a lot of uh, you know advantages and disadvantages. So yeah. I for and, me, what just this thing? If if we had played on the same day, I'm sure uh, we would have. Yeah. You know, things would have been really, really uh, different. Yeah. Um, would a Vijay Shankar at number four batting like he did in New Zealand when India were in trouble four wickets down? Do you think you could have done a job there? that we needed to settle uh, the cuz if you see how many no. runs we lost by vijay right we didn't lose by that many runs in the end right so it, it required yeah. it required one partnership to steady the steady the innings right and that's what we really lacked i felt yeah uh so as a cricketer i would love to you know play such situations like uh, it just uh, i i feel uh, uh, playing such situations and doing well in that, that situation shows character so i feel yeah. whenever whenever i uh, do well whenever i bat in such situation i always uh, enjoy batting uh, at that situation because you know the you know it, the conditions are uh, quite difficult it is doing something it is going to be difficult for the batsman and everything but then when you fight it out and when you come out of that situation it gives a uh, you know uh, a satisfying feel so yeah. i would have i i definitely uh, you know would have loved to uh, play that game well hopefully you get a chance in the future right so that's the that's what yeah. we all pray for yeah oh, okay cool so um before we move on to the rapid fire one final question what's your what's your kind of hopes and aspirations right i know the the season uh we're not sure what's going to happen this season or the rest of the season now right with with everything that's going on um but what what's your kind of short term ambitions for for team india right i mean particular so what is your plan to get back into the squad um what are you hoping for Uh, uh so for me uh all all i think of is uh, you know be really really consistent wherever i play because that is the only uh, thing that i have right now to get back into the indian team and uh, i know uh, seal my place so i need to be really consistent and i had a, i had a decent uh, india a tour as well recently uh, in yeah. jan uh, uh so I just have to be consistent that is the only thing yeah. I'm thinking of now nothing else okay. like where whatever game I play I just have to yeah. go out there and uh, as I told you earlier I just have to give me 100% when I come yeah. out I have to, I should have I should be you know exhausted uh, 
I should feel that I have given my hundred percent for the team. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think Vijay, one thing that m- most Indian fans will say about you as a cricketer is when we watch you play, you give your heart and soul, right? Um, and we can see yeah. that from a fan perspective, we can see that, we can feel that, right? But whether you're fielding, batting, or bowling, we can see that you value uh, your uh, position in the squad and your value your wicket. And so, so yeah. that's some feedback from the fans for you, right? Because I think. Uh, and we Thank are the fans so that care the most, right? So we feel that. Yeah. All right, so listen, I'm going to move on to a rapid fire question, right? So there's a whole bunch of questions here. Um, <laughs> and you need to answer them as quickly as possible, right? So um, some of these questions have been brought in by some of our members. Um, so don't blame me, right, about the questions. Um, I will allow you one pass only, okay? So you can only pass on one question. Okay, yeah. so first question. Um, who was your uh, cricketing idol when you grow up? When you were growing up, Rahul Dravid. Um, Rahul Rahul Dravid. Mine too. Mine too. Why was he yours? <laughs> first of all? Uh, I don't know. Uh, when I started playing cricket, uh, I just watched that Adelaide uh, Test match where he got two hundred odd and uh, seventy or two. You know, and India went on to win the Test match. And then I had a, a CD of uh, that game. I kept watching that again and again and again. And then I started like following him uh, like every game I used to just sit and watch whenever he bats yeah yeah, yeah me too from, from my perspective I think he was what I would describe as a beautiful cricketer right when, even when he used and to not leave just the ball that, yeah. and not just that like after a few years when I had the opportunity to uh, you know travel with him in India A tours and everything like uh, you will not have a feel like you know like I see him as a legend like he is he has done some uh, unbelievable things but when you see when you sit, sit and talk to him he'll, he'll be like just normal yeah. he'll, he'll just give you all uh, inputs that you ask for and he'll just yeah. be very normal great great so I knew you were going to say Dravid that's why I extended that rapid fire <laughs> a little bit further. okay what about from an international perspective who who is your who is your idol from an international perspective outside India uh Jack Callis. Jack Callis. Okay, similar type of player, I guess. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cool. and go on, yeah. please. Yeah, uh, like uh, he bats at number three. He bowls like twenty overs a day, and then he stands and slips. I think yeah. that's uh, amazing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and very. I think also very underrated as well. I don't think he gets yeah. the plaudits he deserves as an international cricketer. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Okay, so. Um, a bit of a slightly different question. So, if you were to live the life of one Indian cricketer, right, past or present, whose life would you like to live? Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid? Fair point. Yeah. Fair point. And, what, and any particular reason that you haven't mentioned already? Yeah, the same thing. And then uh, him being really simple. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, for it's interesting, right? In the world of. Um, um, social media, etc. He's the one guy that's managed to stay away yeah. from all of that, right? Um, but he adds so much value to our country as a cricketer, past and present, right? What he's doing right now. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of respect for our ground for what he does. All right, cool. Um, some fun questions then, right? So what's your favourite ground in India to play cricket in? Chepok. Chepok? Okay. What about internationally? Melbourne. Okay. What about a ground that you haven't played in right now, which you would like to play in? Uh, Lords. Good, good answer. Good answer for our UK members. Uh, okay. Um, what's, the, what's your favorite holiday destination in the world that you've been to and also that you would want to go to? Actually, I've never been to uh, you know, a lot of holiday destinations or I've never even thought about it. Uh, but I recently I went to Queenstown. I think I, I, you know, it was so beautiful. I enjoyed uh, my yeah. time there. So, yeah. other than that, uh, uh, I've not even uh, uh, thought about it actually. Uh, okay. I, I think I'll have to sit and uh, look at all those things to go okay. and visit places. Okay, cool. All right. Um, was England the, when you came for the World Cup? Was that the first time you come to England? Or had no, you no, 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 no. Uh, two years back, I was there for uh, India A2. India at all. Okay, cool. All right. Um, okay, so let's talk about your um, World Cup team members then, right? Let's find out a little bit about them. So who would you say was the funniest member of the squad? Uh, Kedar Jadav. Really? More than Yuzi? No, people, people, yeah, yeah, people, 
don't know much about you know uh, him but inside dressing room he's just unbelievable okay cool cool who's the quietest who's the completely opposite quietest i think i should say myself oh really okay. yeah <laughs> um what do you say more than just preet as bumrah as well i get the feeling he's yeah. quite quiet yeah okay cool all right um who plays practical jokes in the squad practical jokes uh rohit does he really okay interesting um and who thinks that who thinks they are the best singer in the squad <laughs> dinesh kartik <laughs> really okay <laughs> all right Uh, I think I know the answer of this one but who thinks they're the best dancer in the squad? Uh Hardik. Yeah, I thought so. Um and probably the same answer. Who thinks they're the best dressed? Oh, actually, maybe there's two answers to this. Uh Kayl and uh, Hardik. Yeah. I I would think so, yeah. Um all right, good. That's a little bit about the squad. Now back to you. Um what's your favorite food? Uh South Indian food. South Indian? Dosa. No, no dosa is my favorite as well. And non Indian? uh uh italian pasta okay cool cool um all right so now a topic which is close to my heart right which i know the answer for but everybody else might not know who is your favorite football team <laughs> manchester united <laughs> good 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 um uh, who's your <laughs> who's your favorite player currently and in the past in the past uh, wayne rooney okay uh currently uh rashford rashford yeah 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 um and and i th- i think you're right i think um he's he's one for the current and the future i think for us um what about international players outside of the premier league who's your favorite player messi oh, messi okay cool um all right so we come to the end of the rapid fire um uh, and we come to the end of the live story so uh firstly thank you once again to um taking the time to talk to us really appreciate it um and thank you for being so insightful i hope all of our bar dummy followers and members got a real insight to what it is to represent um team india um and also represent team india in the world cup right um and you know one thing you will always be able to say vijay right is that you represent your country in a world cup you played in a world cup match against pakistan and you contributed <laughs> more importantly to us winning as well there's not many yeah. people in india that can say they did that right so um you know you can say you did that and look we hope you find a way to get back into the india squad you know keep working hard um you know we love yeah. your attitude you know um you know you have a, the right mindset you have the right attitude and and we see that as fans right so we have a lot of time for for players who have that kind of mentality when they're representing their country so thank you for your time um and appreciate you know you talking to us today thank you so much and i think uh uh it was, i was very fortunate to have you know uh had this conversation and uh, i had a great time with you guys uh, when when i met you guys for the very first time that's when i got to know what exactly bharat army is and uh, how it yeah. is formed and uh, how you guys travel to different uh, parts of the world to support team india i think that is something unbelievable and uh, i think uh, to do that for quite some time now is something unbelievable and i hope and i'm very very sure that you will all you know your team will keep expanding and yeah. uh, keep supporting yeah. and i'm sure uh, i'll meet you guys very soon hopefully soon yeah hopefully the ipl happens and we find a way of getting there soon right so so look if yeah. the ipl does happen this year good luck for that um otherwise good luck for the season whatever you get to play and um, i'm sure we'll catch up soon when we're in india or wherever yeah. in the world yeah um take care stay stay safe thank you yeah thank you so much see you take care vijay